Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Fix This House. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to install new drywall around your windows, whether it's new construction or you're just replacing the old one. Make sure that you properly drop everything out like what I'm doing right here because it's going to be creating a lot of dust. So if you're new to the channel, please consider pressing that like, subscribe, and notification bell because I do a lot of how-to videos, DIYs, and product reviews on this channel. That being said, let's get started. Now that we got the dust barrier on and the drop, everything is all nice and dropped out. Again, we're going to be creating a lot of dust, especially when removing the drywall. So you want to try to minimize dust as possible. As you can see here, everything is old drywall. I want to re remove these this um, drywall because when I installed the windows before uh, in my past video, uh, I didn't like the insulation inside. It was a little crusty and there was a lot of voids inside the wall that I could feel, actually feel the draft and I don't want possible like ants or pests going onto those cracks and crawling out of from my wall. So everything's exposed now. I'm just slowly taking out all the drywall from the top. Again, you can use the uh, a pry bar like what I'm using right here. All the tools that I use on this video, I'll leave it on the description down below and you can click on them. Easy access if you want those tools. So here we go. Now we're finally taking out the other side. Very easy to, to remove drywall. Just be very, very careful, especially when you're working around uh, electrical sockets. And you can see that there's that old crusty insulation. Getting rid of that one. Now, well, I made a video on this on my last video on how to use this great stuff. Um, foam insulation slash uh, pest blocker. Make sure you use gloves when you're doing this or when you're using it because it gets really messy. It's really, really great when you're using it on little tiny crevices like these ones. Um, they come in different uh, sizes where you can use it for over one inch, less than an inch. On this one, it's really great for putting it around your windowsill to uh, eliminate the draft or any cracks like those. And just, you know, gently apply it around the windows. You can use caulking, but I chose to use this one and again here's a bigger void inside the wall and when it dries it turns out like this give it about 30 minutes and then afterwards you can start trimming off the excess like this one i just use a box knife again be very very careful when using this wear cut resistant gloves and they come off just like this and they expand so it fully cures eight hours so i actually have this two by six um insulation uh i i I didn't have the right insulation for for this project but I didn't want to waste the material so I ended up using this one instead hey whatever works I don't want to waste material so I just installed it and just stuffed the bottom make sure it's nice and stuffed and all the cracks have been filled just like that and now what I'm using is a t-square a drywall t-square oh it's very easy to use just line it up and then just score the top of the drywall and then just snap it just like this now take your box knife and just score and cut the back side and should snap off like that now I'm starting with the around the windowsill first just like this I'm flushing everything out so that when I do install everything it will be nice and easy to install that face now what I'm using now are 2 inch drywall screws. Again, I'll be changing out what I'm using. Right now I'm using an impact drill. Now um, later on I'm going to be using a drill because it's a lot easier. So around the trim is finally complete. That's one window down. Now I'm breaking, um, I have some uh, extra drywall right here. Again, I don't want to waste material. That's why I'm cutting everything in half. I don't want I don't want to waste anything so I'm starting off now with the top portion and then just placing it right against the wall make sure it's nice and even now using the drywall saw I'm cutting around where the socket is going to be coming out and then just placing it right there nice and even with the top Again, I'm going to be using my T-square to find the studs. And then install 
those drywall screws. Do the same thing on all the windows if you have more than one. Now I'm just putting everything on, on the top portion of the beam. And this should be my last window for installing that drywall around your trim, as you can see. All right, so now we're getting to the final part. Just putting on the finishing touches on the bottom. Now make sure you use as a lengthy drywall as you can to make the job easier for you to avoid so many pieces. This is actually the very fun part because this is the final part of the face that I'll be putting on, on the pillars. And then once everything is nice and installed, that should be able to be the final and complete part of our drywall install around the windows again this is a super easy project you just gotta have some patience um, cutting these little tiny um, pieces right there around the trim is what's very cumbersome but with your patience and everything like that you should be just fine So once again friends, that's what it looks like before, before we installed all the drywall. Again, there you have all the exposed insulation. And then after all that is installed, this is what it should look like with all the drywall. Now again, I'm not putting any um, joint compound or corner beads. That will be in my next video. And I actually had a little boo-boo right there. I'm gonna go patch it up later on with some compound. And so there you have it, friends. Hope you enjoyed this video, found it helpful. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.